And now, an exclusive deeper dive into Cosmos. The original Cosmos had some interesting uh, visual elements. And they were all introduced in an attempt to help the story get told. There was the ship of the imagination in the original. An early attempt to provide a literal and a figurative vehicle to tell the story of where you're going in space and in time. It wasn't until Seth MacFarlane and put his foot down and insisted that we have the ship of the imagination as a constant presence in the series that the new cosmos really began to take shape. It was something that stuck in my mind so clearly, Sagan in that room looking out at the cosmos, and it seemed like a device that would be fun to have throughout the series. And it's sort of a home base for Neil. Ryan Church is the foremost designer of spacecraft for motion pictures and television. And he gave us a ship of the imagination that was as simple and timeless as the original. The ship of the imagination was designed as a very reflective object. So the challenge here is to make it read in all these different environments. Sometimes when the ship is out in in space, it's very dark, so we need to play with the shading and the light on its surface to bring it out more. Being a science professional, if all I can see is green screen, uh, fine, I just put the image in my head, because I know what the universe looks like. So I'm there at the helm of the ship, and I see star clusters, galaxies colliding, and I'm there. And the more I'm there, the more you're there. That's the goal.